And after Fortes had his mechanic put a metal plate underneath his car to keep thieves from accessing the converter, thieves just cut around it. I feel like at this point, I'm just waiting for the next time it will happen again. This is video of a catalytic converter being stolen from a Prius in the West Valley last month. Two cars pull up and the thieves remove the converter in less than two and a half minutes. Sako Arpagian with Reseda Mufflers is struggling to keep up with the demand for replacement parts. The dealer will say six months. I've ordered catalytic converters. It's been more than six months. The Prius is the most popular car with thieves because their catalytic converters contain more unused precious metals than standard gas vehicles. The guy comes in from Toyota all the time to drop off parts and he tells me he's like, it's a zoo. You know, he's like, we have over 50 Priuses just sitting in the lot. They've been sitting for a very long time. Reseda Mufflers is seeing more cars with stolen converters right now than ever before. So I get at least one call a day. I mean, at least, you know, um, and that's just us. We're a small shop. Um, you know, sometimes we get three, four calls. Since thieves can get through those steel plates now, the muffler shop we went to recommended putting on an aftermarket alarm on your car, especially if you have a Prius and park outside. That way, if the car is touched or moved, the alarm will go off because oh, wow. typically the newer vehicles, how it works is the alarm's not going to go off unless someone opens the door. But these thieves don't actually go in your car. No, but it's amazing that they take so long. That to get that metal plate off, I would think, would take a long so time. So it does. It's going to take them longer to do that. They won't be able to be in, you know, in and out. But if they're in the middle of the night, and there's not people coming by. Yeah. And also, let's be honest, if you drive past that, are you going to stop them? What if they're armed? So, you know, there's oh. a lot of just kind of feeling like, what can we do? It's just happening. And, um, you know, the city council did pass that. I will say there were several city council members who didn't vote for it. They felt like it would tie down, you know, the city attorney's office dealing with all these thefts and also, um, you know, target uh, people in underserved communities mm. and black and brown communities. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But there has to be a solution because it's a lot of money. You have to pay your deductible to get it fixed. And who can have their car sitting for six months while they wait for a part? Yeah, I know. It's going to be a lot of alarms going off. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. That's the thing. Those old alarms oh. that we hate, those are coming back, right? Great. All right. Thing right. Cat jumps on and it goes off. Thank you.